Hello viewers, welcome to this show. Each and every one of us have fixed certain goals in our life and we are running a mad mad race to achieve those goals. But the path that leads us to our goals is not a bed of roses. We take on a lot of tensions, worries and pressures for attaining instant success. But don't we deserve a break? That too, a healing and relaxing one? Yes. Today, we are going to speak to Dr. Vijay Lakshmi Panthayan about the power and benefits that one can experience within and without if they practice Alpha Meditation. Hello ma'am, welcome to the show. Ma'am, for several weeks you've been explaining about your Alpha Mind Power and the benefits that one can enjoy not only within themselves but they can also influence the subconscious of the other people. Yes. Uh, today, ma'am, please don't uh, mistake me for starting on a negative note. I'd like to begin with people who have a negative set of mind, ma'am. Everything that you talk to them, they're very pessimistic. Even if I go and tell uh, to somebody that, you know, I'm going to do this, do that, they say, why do you want to even do this? Yes. Well, you just uh, mind your own work. And I, you know, I feel so discouraged and I'm not able to do things. So, I find so many kind of people, you know, such kind of people who are always discouraging others who have a very negative mindset. So, how does this alpha mind power, you know, help change their uh, conscious? Very nice question because uh, basically when we say alpha mind power, we are talking about the mind. Mm -hmm. So, the biggest problem everybody, a lot of people are facing is how to make my mind work positively. That's right. So, they experience a lot of negativity and uh, there are a lot of negative thoughts in the minds of people. So, that is why when you go and try to say something positive, they come out with negative statements. So, often when uh, people sometimes come to me for counselling also. So, often when I tell such people, see apart from all the problems etc. First of all, your mindset should be positive. You should always think positively. See, when everything is going well, being positive is not so difficult. Mm -hmm. But even when something goes wrong, if you can keep your thoughts positive, then you can stop that negative flow and change it to positive. Then they will say, but how can I change my mind? When so many things are going wrong, I am feeling so negative, I am feeling so much anger and frustration. So it's very difficult to feel positive. This is what people say. Now where does this negativity come from? And where do the negative thoughts emerge from? This is uh, another big question. So from where am I getting negative thoughts? Yes. People ask me that. If you think about it, if you look at a newborn child, mm. there are no fears in the mind. There are no negative thoughts in the mind. The mm. child is totally positive. See, you may sometimes scold the child. You may sometimes tease the child. You may pull something away from its hands. But after some time, the child still comes back with a lot of positive energy. Yes. It anticipates only love from you. So that is how we were when we were born because there were no negative inputs in our mind. So when a child is born, there are no inputs for this world. But as we grow, what happens is we get a lot of inputs from the family members, mother, father, grandfather, grandmother. And then once you go to school, the teacher is telling us many things. The friends are telling us many things. And then as we grow, we, we watch many things happening around us. We read so much and like that, a lot of inputs are coming in. And if you look at the inputs that we receive today, either when you read the papers or you watch the news mm -hmm. or even when you simply talk to another person, more than the positive inputs, the negative inputs are there. They are much more than the positive ones. Mm -hmm. So when there are a lot of negative inputs in the mind, the mind starts getting scared. Mm -hmm. There is always a caution that if you say I am going somewhere to see somebody, when somebody says this, you will always find the next sentence is but I don't know whether he will be there. So, the mind is already imagining that things may go wrong okay. because that cautioning is always being given by the left brain because of so many inputs, negative inputs that we have and that is one reason. Another reason is whatever has happened in life, small small incidents, maybe some big failures, so many things are there. They all build up and make a person feel very frustrated. So, the mindset becomes very negative. So, the person says that whatever happens, I have to be cautious, I have to only think of what goes wrong. So nothing, nothing goes right in this world, everything is going wrong. This is the way the mind starts feeling and the mind starts behaving. So then the thoughts are negative, the words are negative, that's what you are experiencing. But with Alpha Mind Power what happens is, we do not focus on any negative thoughts. When we are in Alpha, you feel so good 
that automatically you start thinking positively and at the alpha level you know it's a powerful state of mind so when we practice alpha meditation when you take up a problem in your mind say i have this particular problem you don't keep focusing on the problem you focus more on the solution okay so i don't i supposing a person says i want to get married i'm not getting married i'm so frustrated i'm not finding a girl or i'm not finding a boy then the person feels very negative that i'm doing everything but i'm not getting the right person so how do i get married how do i settle down or a person is looking for a job he is not getting a good job these are various things which make a person very negative when things don't happen immediately but at the alpha level what we will do is you will start visualizing that you are married happily oh, okay. and you will also start visualizing that you've got a good job so the mind starts enjoying that goal achievement even before it has happened so it takes you to a different level of mind instead of remaining at this negative state and saying i'm not getting a job i'm not getting married nobody is good to me i'm not able to get out of this habit or this is not happening to me my boss is not good with me he's not understanding what i'm doing these are all you know various negative inputs that keep the mind also functioning negatively but at the alpha level when we start visualizing the positive outcome that we want from each aspect or each goal in life then the mind also starts enjoying that visualization mm. so then you start brushing aside the negative thought that this may not happen you want to look at the positive side of it where you are seeing something happening if you want to buy a house you're not going on saying that prices are increasing i cannot buy i don't have the money you set aside all these negative thoughts and you start looking at a picture where you have purchased a good house and you are living there and you are enjoying so with all the small small techniques that we use at the alpha level the mind dwells more on the positive aspect of life what can be better in life than dwelling more on what has already gone wrong mm -hmm. and uh, again i can say this is a function of the left brain where it keeps on analyzing whatever went wrong in life actually if you look at it everything that happens to us in life it leaves an impression in our mind that impression remains with us and uh, the left brain is capable of analyzing whatever happened when good things happen we feel happy for some time when bad things happen we feel negative but uh, the most interesting thing is that we forget the good things very soon yes. the memory does not last but when something goes wrong when there is a failure or the, or a disappointment or maybe even a death in a family or you've lost something then the mind is unwilling to give up even for years together the person is dwelling on what went wrong and then the present is also lost the future is also lost because the past was not good so i have met people like that and one good example which comes to my mind i can even call this a classic example was about a lady she was about 56 57 years old she came for counseling she sat in front of me and said you know i have suffered so much in life and she was almost in tears right from the beginning when i asked her what was uh, wrong what went wrong in your life then she said i got married at a very young age when i was 17 i got married i knew nothing about uh, cooking i knew nothing about housekeeping so my mother in law was annoyed with me my sister in law was annoyed with me and they were all teasing me they were all scolding me so i had a very very difficult time and she kept on elaborating about what her mother in law spoke and what her sister in law spoke then i started thinking now she is about 56 57 so this means 40 years have passed yeah. and can this continue for 40 years with the same uh, energy like that then i just stopped her and asked her is your mother in law still scolding you then she said no no my mother in law died long back who oh, even then, she would have become a mother in law yeah, herself yeah she has already become yeah. a mother in law then i said uh, then is your sister in law still teasing you she said no no my sister in law is residing in a different city now okay. she got married and she's there So who is there in your house she says only myself and my husband because children have all settled abroad they are all married oh, they have settled okay. abroad so is your husband uh, uh, giving you trouble she says, no no he is a very nice person <laughs> then i asked her but then what is your problem today then she says no no i am not able to forget what happened 40 years oh. back so she says even if i lie down in the afternoon to relax for half an hour i can hear my mother in law's voice i can hear my sister in law's voice scolding me teasing me and tears come in my eyes and every day i'm crying this is what she says and um, i have seen lot of people suffering like this because of something which went wrong in the past today this whole scenario has changed 
but the mind is unwilling to let go and the mind becomes very negative so this lady is living in the past her left brain is not allowing her to let go and she is losing the present she is losing the future so i said see you are still thinking about what happened 40 years back when even the person who caused that misery is not alive yeah. today and you are missing whatever you can do today whatever fun you can have today whatever good life you can have today and she was so surprised she said you mean to say i can have a good life mm. then i said see you are financially fine you you have a very nice husband so both of you can go shopping you can go for movies you can go to temples you can visit so many cities so many places in the world you say your children are settled abroad you can go there you can see places you can enjoy life you know she looked at me as if she couldn't believe so even the thought that i can enjoy my life did not come to her because she was living in the past so that way the mind because it accumulates all that went wrong it doesn't let go it becomes very negative and today the thoughts can be very negative because of what happened some time back so this is what i see with many people but when you start practicing alpha mind power you are focusing more on the present and more on the future not on the past mm. so we are already programming our life we are saying i'm going to get married and live happily or i'm going to get a good job or i am studying very well getting very good marks or i am doing very well in whatever they are doing so the mind is dwelling on the future and anticipating good things to happen so this with this positive change in the mind with alpha meditation there are no negative thoughts and you just let go of the past because there's no time for that so that is the biggest change that i have seen in people okay so people are just you know uh, walking from their home till their workplace and then coming back and suddenly one day they find a gate there and they open it they find happiness but yes. they need people like you to at least show <laughs> that there is a See, gate like that somebody has it has to uh, come through somebody so i always feel probably it's my mission in life to just make people understand how powerful they are yeah. and to also make them understand and uh, realize that they can break away from the past and still live a very happy life so happiness is almost like you know a fundamental right yes, everybody yes, has it yes, very but true. only they are not able to exercise, exercise. it they don't or to enjoy it yes so people like you are there to enlighten about the ways and means to do so uh, so ma'am uh, last week you were talking about uh, you know addiction you had spoken about alcohol and smoking yes uh, today's people seem to have another uh, addiction you know they are addicted to their mobiles yes. and the internet yes. and you know the websites the social uh, websites you know like facebook and the yes. other things yes. so uh, many parents are today are complaining they wanted me to ask this question especially you know how to bring their children out from this you know this facebook and the other uh, things the addiction see everything is available to them mm -hmm. first of all so once internet is there then you can't stop them from using uh, facebook or twitter or so many other things and the social networks and uh, it is only that you know so much time gets wasted see it is a, it is good to socialize it's good That's to right. have friends it's good to share your thoughts share your pictures all that i'm not saying anything against it but uh, what really happens is especially with young minds uh, they get so much caught up with this that you yes. know every moment they keep on uh, sending mails from their mobiles Uh, they say i am now doing this i am in this mall right. i am now having an ice cream so this is like you know you, there's a running commentary about your life which you're giving to the entire world so this uh, i think they have to realize mm -hmm. that you can have your own uh, privacy your own life and still have a good time and you do not have to always be you know uh, visible to everybody but uh, this realization has to come to people and again i feel once they start meditating then they start understanding how beautiful it is to be with yourself i always feel people are more on the net simply surfing see constructive work is different yes. but when you're simply surfing just like that from one side you go to another side yes. and finally you realize that you've spent 4 hours on the net without really doing anything just a few pieces of information here and there then it only means the person is unable to sit and be with himself you know this is what our forefathers used to do for long hours and our siddhas have mentioned this in tamil they say the best happiness is to be with yourself summa irpade sugam they used to say in tamil but uh, today that happiness is almost lost because uh, many youngsters particularly they don't even know how to be with themselves on their own they always want to only be with others so uh, we somewhere we have we seem to have crossed that margin or that limit but once 
a youngster also or any person of, of any age once they understand how beautiful it is to be in meditation and i can address even um, the senior citizens because many of them also have this problem because the fear of death is there and the feeling that i have done everything in life and now i am no longer useful to anybody that also makes them wonder what to do with themselves so some such people many of them have come to our class but once they started meditating at the alpha level they have also come and told me that see today i am so happy on my own i seem to have some big purpose in life i get up in the morning i do my meditation i am meditating for others also i am meditating for the country i am meditating for my city for my family for my children for my grandchildren this is giving me a lot of energy then i have my own schedule i go here i go to the temple i do this i do that but i look forward to sitting in meditation again okay. so that is when i am with myself and i experience joy i experience inner peace so even senior citizens and with youngsters with many of them i have seen this beautiful transformation they always come and tell me that earlier i never had true friends so i was always on the mobile always on yeah. the net as you said you know trying to fill up my time or trying to fill up that vacuum inside it's more of that but today say they say once i started practicing alpha meditation there is no vacuum inside i feel so centered so grounded i know what i'm doing i have a proper schedule in my mind so the day is properly planned and i know what best i should be doing so i don't waste my time and if there is some time i just don't mind sitting and being my, with myself mm -hmm. so that change you know when it comes within a person then uh, they feel reluctant to spend too much time on these kind of thing mobile or networks you know so i think meditation is uh, something uh, which puts us back in place it uh, gives us a feeling of alignment and at the alpha level you not only feel aligned you not only feel happy you are also programming for what you want in life so i i at this point i remember once there was a gentleman who was about 70 years old when he attended my class many years back so during the class he just asked me he said see i am already 70 mm. i just came to your class out of curiosity mm. i don't have any goals in life there's nothing that i can do with my life i've finished everything so what can i do with your meditation then i said uh, see when you do not have the power you do not have goals because you feel inadequate you feel you cannot achieve much so you don't even think of anything you just give up but i said now you start practicing this meditation and then let me know how you feel so he went and started practicing and uh, i met him after a few months then he said ma'am now i have so many goals mm. because i'm seeing things happening so when my granddaughter is going to write exam i am sitting and meditating for her that she writes well and that she gets good marks and there are so many other things in the family then for the society mm -hmm. then he says even for my health problems i am meditating i am feeling very good he says now i am able to sleep well i am feeling energetic my health is good so i am going for a walk also earlier i was not going for a walk because i was not feeling well mm -hmm. so there is a total change you feel so powerful and you don't feel that desperate feeling that now i cannot do anything how do i manage this so the alpha meditation at that stage when you meditate you really feel powerful and there is no negativity in the mind you feel absolutely blissful and peaceful so you're satisfied with yourself yes. and you also bring happiness to yes, others yes to others yes ma'am uh, then another important question now you spoke about uh, students and how they can concentrate on their studies and then we come to the teenage level where you know uh, children have this infatuation and you know that distracts them from their studies they are not able to differentiate between what is love and what is infatuation sure, sure. and that is not the age to fall in love as well yes. so this uh, problem you know many parents are facing it and how will you be and your alpha mind power will yes, be of help yeah again when a person starts meditating at the alpha level mm -hmm. there is more clarity in the mind mm -hmm. see uh, infatuation happens only because there is no clarity in the mind yes. and uh, the child who is uh, in love who thinks he mm. or she is in love with somebody else is only seeking something to satisfy himself it's like a child which is fed up with uh, one set of toys yes and then wants something new so you may have a whole room full of toys but still the child wants you to buy something new mm. so it's because the mindset is like that mm. so here also when they come to that particular age you know 13 14 15 till then they are scared to go out alone many children they want their parents to take them they want their parents to spend for them all that is there but once they reach that age of the teenage as we say 13 14 15 
then there is that little bit of independence that they can travel on their own they spend time with friends all that happens and somewhere when they like somebody liking is always uh, many times mistaken for love and uh, that that's why we say it is infatuation because they just obsessed with being with that person and as i always say first of all being in love many youngsters are in love with the idea of being in love <laughs> so, so you know everyone yeah. is in love so i should also be in love so whom can i select it becomes like that so when there are so many friends with you and one of them attracts you a lot then you just say okay i am in love with this person and they make that decision and then they try to tune their mind this is what happens because i have counseled so many youngsters at that age so when i when the parents bring them i make them sit in front of me and i talk to them alone and i ask them see if it is a boy i say you are telling us that you are in love with this girl what exactly want what exactly do you want to do with your life then the boy says uh, i want to become a marine engineer or i want to become an aeronautic engineer i want to become a an it guy or i want to do this i want to do that is there somewhere at the back of the mind then i ask him so once you started this uh, uh, relationship with this other uh, person the girl or the boy how have you been faring in your exams how have you been moving towards your goal of becoming an aeronautical engineer or a software engineer then it is very clear that once this started the studies have gone down the marks have that is why the parents bring them to yes. me because the marks have gone down see ultimately till you finish your plus 2 the only yardstick is whether you are getting good marks if you are getting good marks that means you are centered you are grounded you are studying well everything else falls into place for parents and teachers and everybody but when something goes wrong somewhere even if health is not all right yes. it shows in your achievement in the studies so everybody is worried about that how are you going to pass your 12th your plus 2 so here when you get distracted and diverted then the child is not able to concentrate on the studies which is the main thing at this part of life during this part of life that's the main thing so i always ask the boy or the girl now what happened to your goal now you are already diverted from getting marks or passing your exams with good grades so how will you move towards your goal of becoming an engineer then they say but what to do i am in uh, love with so and so i said what is the meaning of being in love uh then they don't know what to say then i tell them see being in love it can happen not once in life but many times you are in love with your teacher you are in love with your mother you are in love with your father but with each person you know how you express it is different yes now that clarity is not there in your mind you are not old enough to understand you have not seen the world you have not seen many relationships for that you need to you know spend some more years and you will have so many friends and you will start uh, really and you know liking some people more liking some people less and with everyone whom you like more you cannot say you are in love mm-hmm. so by the time you understand this and differentiate you are already at least 20 mm-hmm. so at 13 and 14 that clarity is not there so when you explain it to them like that you know there is nothing wrong in liking a person but uh, you can't make a decision that i'm going to live with this person for the rest of my life because first of all you have not grown completely you have not grown fully many marriages earlier failed because they married at a very young age when they did not know who they were what kind of person am i when you do not understand that you cannot choose a life partner because you do not know what you want in that life partner that's when marriages started failing but uh, today you need you are understanding you have lot of exposure you understand so then they understand then i tell them see first of all to make a decision you need clarity so meditate at the alpha level and you're not doing you're not committing a crime or anything by liking a person but meditate and see whether this is to be confused with being in love or whether you can carry on with a good friendship and then when they start meditating at the alpha level then they say yes ma'am now i can understand that what i'm feeling is a lot of love and affection for this person but that doesn't mean i'm in love with the person you know that little intrinsic meaning for the, these two things and that small line which we draw between these two things you can understand only when your mind is clear when you are deep within that emotion you cannot understand and alpha level of the mind gives a lot of clarity okay ma'am so today you very beautifully explained you know how a baby's a child's brain is very pristine clear and then only with inputs it becomes negative yes. 
and you also spoke many things for the benefit of students and for adolescents. Yes. I'm eagerly waiting to meet you in another episode. Thank you so much for talking to us in detail about Alpha Mind Park. Yeah. Nice meeting Thank you. Thank you so much. So viewers, I hope you enjoyed this show about Alpha Mind Park. Please do attend the classes and enjoy its benefits. Meet you in yet another interesting show. Thank you. Alpha Mind Power. Ungal lachi engalai yadaga. Uravugal member Udal arogiam siraka. Nimmadi yaka guranga. Padipil siran de velanga. Mana ritam ninga. Mana nimmadi udan vada. Alpha Mind Power. Urunal pair chivakupu. Alpha Diana Mulam. Al Manadin Abara Sakti Ibunandu. Varkagil, Nenekta de Saditu, Makuchigudan Vardungal. Contact cell 984140200, 984169664, phone 044237600007, website www.alphamindpower.net.